Hi everyone, it's Carol here. Thanks for coming to join me on your mat today. I have created this short yin practice. In fact, it's so short, it's just one pose. And the goal here is to calm anxiety, to release some stress, and give you a chance to get on with your day. So this is short, it's not a long yin practice. We're only gonna do one pose, child's pose. So let's get started right away. Come onto your mat and you can take child's pose if you're already familiar with it in any variation that you like. You can have your knees hip widths apart or you can bring them to the width of your mat. And if you're really flexible, maybe you'll bring them off your mat. Big toes come together and then slide the hips back over the heels. And walk your hands forward. If it's uncomfortable for you to come all the way down onto the mat, you can take a block and put it underneath your forehead. You can also take a pillow, put it underneath your hips. Whatever it takes for you to feel really comfortable and safe and secure. Hands can reach forward. Or if your knees are hip width apart, you can reach them back and put them next to your hips. If your knees are wide, you can bring them between your legs and cup your heels. You can take your hands in prayer position and bring your thumbs back next to the nape of your neck. Whatever you choose is good here. I want you to feel really comfortable. So once you've gone through different options, different props, and you've found your pose for today, just take a moment, do a little body scan, start with your toes, curl your attention through your body. until you get up to the top of your head. Yeah, I just want you to release any tension that you might be holding in your mouth, in your cheeks. And around your ears. Relax the muscles around your eyes. Think about the muscles that might be in behind your eyeballs and relax there too. And then relax your gaze behind your closed eyelids. Feel like if your eyes were open, you'd have a really unfocused gaze. The activity of our eyes is very closely related to the activity in our mind. So if you can consciously relax your eyes, I think you'll find a corresponding relaxation in your mind. Now, turn your attention to your breath. Just tune into the rhythm of your breath. Don't try and change it, not yet. Notice the way the breath feels as it enters your body. Notice the smells, the temperatures. Notice where it goes in your body. Do you breathe into your ribs or your belly or your chest? No answer is right or wrong here. Just notice what is.
And on your next inhale, lengthen that inhale. Take a long time to fill the whole body with air. When you get to the top of your breath, when you're completely full, hold yourself, hold your breath in for just a moment. And then when we exhale, exhale long and slow. Take as long about the exhale as you did about the inhale. And when you get to the bottom of your breath, hold yourself empty for just a beat. And then continue again with a long and slow inhale. You can even count to a count of maybe four. Hold for a count of one. And then exhale for a count of four. Hold yourself empty for a count of one. Long, slow inhale. Counting, if that feels good for you. Holding. Exhaling. Holding empty. And continuing with this pattern. Keeping your mind focused on the breath. If at some point during the practice, your mind wanders away from the breath, just gently bring it back to the breath, to the sensations that the breath is causing in your body. Maybe you're getting an opening across the back of your ribs, lengthening of the low back. Maybe you can feel the belly drop down on the inhale. And then the hips lower a little bit more on the exhale. Whatever it is that feels good for you to let your thoughts land on. And you can stay here as long as you like, focusing on your breath, on the sensations in your body, staying very present with yourself. If it's time for you to move on, make your way out of this pose by reaching forward with your hands, pressing into the palms, come up to a tabletop. Keep your eyes shut as you do this. And make your way to a seated position, either on your knees or on your seat. You can sit on a block if that feels good for you. With your eyes closed, just tune in again to the rhythm of your breath.
as you did at the beginning of practice. Notice your breath. I'm hoping now that you notice that your breath is slower than it was at the beginning of practice. That indicate some relaxation in the body. Bring your palms together now. And rub your hands. Create a little friction between your hands, a little warmth. And before you open your eyes, just bring your palms onto those eyelids. A little pressure. And gently open your eyes behind your palms. Keep the gaze nice and soft down towards the floor. And release the hands down onto your knees. Let's inhale the fingertips up to the ceiling. And then as we exhale, bring the palms together, the thumbs to the third eye. This represents the union of our mind and body. Together relaxed and present in this moment. And a big inhale. And as you exhale, hinge forward. A final pose to seal in the benefits of our practice. Namaste.